There's a concept out there called the Dunbar circle. So this was Robin Dunbar won the Nobel Prize in, in uh, evolutionary theory back in the 70s because he had figured out that we only ever evolved in small enclaves of approximately 150 people. So we hear global threat statistics and then we misinterpret them on a subconscious small village level, significantly inflating the threat. So I, I would go so far as to say is our our impression of the world is inherently incorrect. And then the news has to sh- tell us that we're right when we're wrong. And then so it, it creates this negative feedback loop. And then lastly, you have two very pernicious things. Like uh, General Dynamics just uh, started advertising on Good Morning America because there's lots of people on Good Morning America that buy killer drones, yes? <laughs> so it's they're, they're advertising so that they can have editorial influence over the news organizations. Perfect example of that is the Vioxx scandal 20 years ago. Um, Fox News and MSNBC were radio silent on it because 79% of their ad revenue is pharmaceutical ads. Yeah. And the Vioxx scandal is, is they literally cooked the books, lied to the FDA about the efficacy and the safety of it. It killed an extra 30,000 human beings, was pulled from the shelves. And from what I understand, Merck only had to pay back some of the profits. So that is, this is a, uh, a very skewed, um, I don't know what you would call that, but I don't know that any of that's in the, in the people's best interest. 